Hi, my name is Seth Johnson. I'm Department Head for the Department of Art and Design at Jacksonville State University. Uh, welcome to JSU. I want to tell you about our program and all that we have to offer here. In the Department of Art and Design, we have 12 full-time faculty, we have four adjuncts, and we have about 150 art majors. We also have about 12 graduate students. We have three different degree programs. We have an MFA in Visual Communication Design, which is the only one of its kind in the state of Alabama. We have a BFA, which is a professional degree in art, and you can concentrate in one of six areas. And we also have a BA, which is General Studies degree in art, where you can concentrate right now in studio art or working on a concentration in art history, and we're hoping to have that approved very soon. So of our in our BFA program, we have six different concentrations. Graphic design, photography, painting, drawing, ceramics, and printmaking. Um, we have incredible facilities. We have three different computer labs. We have a plethora of different technology um, tools that are available to you guys. Everything from large format printers to laser engravers. We're actually working on 3D printers that will be available to our students this coming fall. Um, our ceramics studio spaces has five different electric kilns, two different gas kilns for reduction fire, including an atmospheric kiln, soda kiln that's basically uh, an incredible tool that not a lot of places have available to them. We have world-class faculty that are all accomplished in their own right. They have we have award-winning faculty. Part of their requirements of being a professor is that they're a practicing artist and designer. So all of them have accomplished goals and have, have done a number of different things on their CV that give them the expertise that they need to be able to teach your classes successfully. So um, we would love to have you come and visit JSU. Fridays are a great time for us to do tours. Uh, today I'm coming to you live from the 47th Annual Student Juried Exhibition here in Hammond Gallery. Our gallery spaces are fantastic. In fact, this is one of three, and we have a rotating monthly exhibit schedule. This happens to be our springtime student juried show, but the rest of the year we have professional artists and designers that come to campus and showcase all the great things that they they're doing and it gives our students an opportunity to speak and interact with working professional artists and designers. So we'd love to have you out. Um, I, I can walk around and answer a lot of questions for you. One thing that, that parents often ask is how can my child, how can my kid make a living as an artist? And you know that that's you know, 30 years ago, that might have been a little bit harder to answer because we would talk about the commercial art and all of the things that are available. Well, that has significantly changed in the last 30 years with the advent of, of different forms of technology. All of us are walking around with a smartphone in our pocket, which basically is a little mini computer. Someone had to sit down and design all those components for it. The icons, the user interface, the the all the components that make it function from a, a design standpoint. Um, what about television? Um, you know, we went from having a few channels just 30, 40 years ago to having hundreds and thousands of channels today. Someone has to do all the art direction, all the motion graphics, all the design and typography for that. So there's more job opportunities. We still have traditional page layout and print design, but we have we have illustration needs, we have photography skills. You know, now all these smartphones that exist um, have basically has put a camera in everyone's pocket. But what that means is it's brought a greater significance to what good photography means and how to accomplish that. So um, everyone was worried about what will, will photographers ever be needed? What is in, in essence what has happened is it has brought quality photography to, no, to more of a predominance to, to our community. So we see s there's so many different ways to display photography. You know, years ago it was just prints, right? But now all these digital forms of displaying photography has brought a significance to it. So our photography students are getting hired, different forms of jobs. Um, studio artists, everything from painting and drawing, ceramics to printmakers, 
There's lots of different opportunities for you to work as a studio artist, but also with technology now, there's so many other different ways to put your work out there. Yes, you can still be represented by galleries and you can and also represent yourself, but we're gonna teach you different entrepreneurial skills to be able to create promotional materials for yourself, be able to put your work out there on websites, online galleries and that kind of thing. So um, next time you're in Jacksonville, we'd love to be able to give you a tour of our facilities. We have a great thing going here. Lots of fantastic studio spaces. Our technology offerings for our students are incredible. And uh, more importantly, JSU is just a great small school where all of our students, they get that one-on-one -on -one attention that they need. And it's just a fantastic program. So. Um, please stop by. We'd love to be able to show you what we offer.